how are the alphas chosen in the group? Now, typically speaking, in the group, it will be either by age and experience or just by sheer, you know, strength and ability. So, with the alpha females, it does make a lot of sense for them to be one of the older individuals within the group because they've got the experience and the know-how to know where to go, where to forage, which areas will be good at which times of the year. So that is a determining factor um, for the females. Also, you know, the strongest, most capable one, as well as that experience factor, will be something that they that they use to determine who's the alpha female. Typically, in any way, when you look at the alpha female, she will be the larger, more dominant one, as far as strength and so on goes. But the, the experience is a very important factor for that. Um, for them to determine that. As far as alpha male goes, um, that will be determined by sheer strength and power. You know, um, they need to be the strongest uh, male in the group to be able to pass on the best genes at that time. So for us, very much like most other animals, you'll find that with, uh, like let's say for instance, buffalo, you'll find that female buffalo are ranked according to not only their strength and ability, but also according to an ex a certain experience factor. Whereas with the males, um, they are all about the mating, so the strongest and most capable male will be the highest ranking in that group. Same with meerkats.